Hi guys, Dr. Yale Rosen often says that asteroid bodies are actually more common in foreign body granulomas than in sarcoidosis. And I wanted to show you a case that illustrates just that. Here's a beautiful, big, multinucleated giant cell with an asteroid body. And you might think, hey, asteroid body must be sarcoidosis. But just back up a little bit. And let's see if you can make this diagnosis. I'm gonna show you a few other fields. And can you tell what's going on here? What is the diagnosis in this case? This is a case of exogenous lipoid pneumonia. Exogenous lipoid pneumonia. These large globules or spaces are essentially fat that's been wiped out of the tissue, leaving these big holes. And it's surrounded by multinucleated giant cells and fibrosis in the interstitium. Uh, and this commonly causes an infiltrate or mass in the lower lobes. It is caused by aspiration of, of oily or lipoid substances such as uh, mineral oil, most, most commonly taken for, for constipation. But this is a beautiful example of a case in which the um, asteroid body that I showed you in the first slide is clearly not caused by sarcoidosis. This is caused by exogenous lipoid pneumonia. So I hope you remember that uh, asteroid bodies are not specific for anything. And also I hope you remember what exogenous lipoid pneumonia looks like uh, on a histologic slide. Just burn this um, image into your mind. And I hope that the next time you see just garden variety foamy macrophages, you won't uh, mistake them for true exogenous lipoid pneumonia as is seen in this case. Thank you.